Beginning on the Emperor's website, click the Click to Login button under the Emeritus Online Access heading. This will take you to the Account Access page. Depending on whether you are a new account user or an existing account user, you will need to click Different Account Links. If you are unsure, please review the instructions PDF. When your contributions established your account, you were sent a mailing from Emeritus containing a unique certificate number. If you have lost or misplaced this letter, you may call either the Emeritus Call Center or the Emperor's Call Center to request it so that you may set up your account. Existing users can log in via the Here link. Enter your user ID and password. Next, you will see a dashboard with your account information listed. I see account information listed for my mandatory state retirement plan and for my deferred compensation plan. I click on the retirement plan info. This brings me to my plan dashboard or home page for my retirement plan. If I am unsure what type of mandatory plan I have, either a defined contribution or cash balance plan, I can check using the account activity button under my balance to determine this. This screen takes me to my current investments. I have 100% of my money in the cash balance benefit. This means the investment decisions are made by the Nebraska Investment Council, so there is no need to allocate or transfer investment funds. Back to the overview screen. There is a drop down under the State of Nebraska Retirement Plan. Clicking on the plan name will give you more options if you have multiple plans or accounts. I have a Deferred Compensation Plan, or DCP, which shows in the drop-down menu. Click on Deferred Compensation Plan. We are now on the DCP dashboard. I can review my balance here and can also make fund allocations and transfers for my DCP. If we look at the account activity on our DCP account, we can see it is very different much more like a defined contribution account would be. Here we can select a date range to review, such as a month-to-date performance of a selected fund. I can see my contributions to this fund, the earnings that it may have generated in our given date range, review fees, and see transfers. Back on the home page, in the My Past section, there is a button to click to review your past investments. Let's click on the Review Investments now. We are taken to a screen that details the balance that we have currently in each investment fund option we have chosen and the percentage of our account that that represents. Back on the DCP dashboard, in the My Future section, there is a button to click to Review Allocations. Allocations are funds that we have chosen for our future money to go into. We are taken to a screen that details our current allocation choices. As you can see, I currently have my money allocated to go into five different funds at 20% apiece. So whatever new money comes into the account, 20% of it goes to each of the five funds that I have chosen. To the right of the allocations percentages, you can see the you can always change the way your future contributions are allocated at any time. Under this, there is a button that says Manage My Money. Let's click that button. The page we are redirected to is the Manage My Investments page, where we can accomplish many things such as rebalancing our funds or looking at our pending transactions. However, at this time, we're looking at two specific things that we can do. Changing our fund allocations using the Change My Future Contributions Allocations link and transferring older money from one fund to another using the Transfer Fund to Fund link.
After clicking on the Change My Future Contribution Allocations link, we can begin the process of changing our allocations for where we would like our future contributions to go. Read the information and warnings set forth on the page, then we can scroll down. We can see what our current allocations are. As I mentioned before, I have contributions going into five funds at 20% per fund. We can also see the New Allocations column, which is where we will make our new allocation selections using percentages of our account. If I wish for percentages that I am currently putting into a fund to remain the same for that fund option, I will simply move it to the New Allocations column. It is important that we allocate 100% of our future contributions to new or the same funds. The remaining percent to allocate at the bottom shows 100% left to allocate because I have not entered percentages in yet. In this example, I have kept two of my fund allocations the same. I have also decided to take the 20% that I was putting into one fund and split that between two of my better performing fund options. The new fund allocation for the fund that I am splitting out of becomes zero and the two better performing funds are now at 30% allocations. My total is still 100% allocated and my remaining percent to allocate is 0%. After I have finished designating my new allocations, I push the Continue button at the bottom of the screen. Now we are on to Step 2, the verification of new allocation elections. Scroll down. And there is a listing of both my previous allocations and my new allocations listed out. Notice that you can go back to the previous screen using the Previous button or cancel making your new allocations using the Cancel button at the bottom left of the screen. Or if you are satisfied with your choices, click the Finish button. Step 3 is confirmation of your new allocations. The instructions on this page let you know about the timing of this transaction and give you the Pending link to see your pending changes to your account. If you scroll down, you will see once again a list of your previous allocations and your new allocations. There is also a Home button that will take you back to your account dashboard. Now that you have finished making new allocation elections for your account, When we click the Transfer Fund to Fund heading on the Manage My Investment page, we are taken to Step 1 of the transfer process. Read the information and warnings provided by Emeritus, then scroll down to the lower half of the page. Here we see each of the investment funds that we have money in currently, and exactly how much is in each. The list of investments may include some funds that you don't currently have money allocated to go into. In this example, I do not currently have money allocated to go into the Moderate Premix Fund, but there is still old money in this fund. Let's take $200 of the money that is in the Moderate Premix and move it to a different fund. Moving existing money from one fund to another is a transfer. You will also notice that I changed the drop down from percentage to dollar amount to do this. I click the Continue button at the bottom of the screen to move to the next step. Read the information and warnings for step 2, then scroll to the lower half of the screen. Here we see a listing of all the available fund options, the balances in each, and under the From heading, we see the $200 that we are transferring. Along the right margin, we can also see a column that says 2 and a column of percentage fields. I am electing to move the $200 into two different funds, so I will put 50% or $100 in one fund and 50% or $100 in another. I moved 50% of my $200 into the Large Growth Fund, so I put 50% in that field. You can see at the bottom of the column 
a remaining percent to invest field. Right now, it says I still have 50% to invest in another fund. I move my second 50% into the large value fund. Now, it says I have 100% total, and my remaining percentage to invest is 0%. Notice that you can go back to the previous screen using the Previous button or cancel the transfer using the Return to Manage My Investments button on the left bottom of the screen. Or if you're satisfied with your transfer, click the Continue button. Now we're on to Step 3, the verification of my transfer. Let's scroll down. Here I can see the fund that I took money from and the two new funds that the money is being put into. If everything looks in order, click the Finish button. Step 4 is the confirmation of your fund transfer. The instructions on this page let you know about the timing of the transaction and give you a Pending link to see your pending changes to your account. If you scroll down, you will see once again a listing of your transferred funds. There's also a Home button that will take you back to your account dashboard now that you've finished transferring some of your existing money from one fund to another in your account. 